Hello and welcome back viewers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Mbube. And I'm back here to update you after a few days uh, of a sabbatical where we were sorting out a few things. But now because people have been asking questions pertaining to the Zimbabwe exemption permits and especially the two court cases that were set to begin this month where two organizations including the Helen Sussman Foundation, took the South African government to court uh, in as far as the non-renewal of the Zimbabwe exemption permit is concerned. Uh, so we decided that I should come back here and update you. The questions that we've been getting mainly is what does the postponement of the court case or the court cases rather mean to ZEP applicants we have not yet begun the process to apply for their other mainstream South African permits. Does it change anything? Does this mean that they should go ahead and apply? Does this mean that they should still wait? So this is what I'm going to respond to. But before I go ahead, may I please request you to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and to share it. Pertaining to the court cases, as we've always been saying, uh, I don't think at this present moment there is any need for people to stop what they wanted to do in as far as the permits are concerned. Because whether or not the court case goes on, uh, you will still have to do something to formalize your stay in South Africa. We are not saying that if you don't qualify and you apply, you are going to qualify. But this is a situation where we say people are in a cash 22 situation anything can happen you will remember that the zep arrived as uh, a political decision taken by the african national congress and the south african cabinet the minister by continuing to advise you to apply and even threatening to punish those who did not apply may be having uh, some thoughts maybe just maybe there will come a time when they will say we are only servicing those who applied and they are going to get the new permits because you will remember that the minister himself said he expects two types of application from zimbabweans he expects an application for a waiver he expects an application for the permit itself maybe just maybe i'm not saying this is the case and i'm not saying uh i have the answers i'm not saying uh, it's definitely going to happen but just maybe they want to formalize the stay of zimbabweans who have been on the zep by moving them to other south african permit uh based on the waiver applications that they apply for and they get because so far we haven't been told that there's anybody who applied for a waiver and failed to get it so this is just a maybe again that the minister might have an ace up his sleeve it's a waiting game but also for you to be able to wait with um hope you need to have applied but when you feel that or if you feel that you don't need to apply because you don't have the qualifications it's also up to you but what we'll not do is to tell you that waste your money and apply when you are going to lose uh, the application process or if you are going to be turned away. And also we will not say do not apply when the minister says apply so that uh, in case he may give the permits to those, to those who applied without even qualification, without even qualifying. And then you will come back here and blame us. So for now, nothing changes. If you feel you have to apply, go ahead and apply. If you don't apply, it's also up to you. If you risk your money and don't get the permit, it's up to you. If you don't apply and you don't get the permit, while others who don't qualify get it, then it's also up to you. So it's an open-ended situation. The decision is mainly with you. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to this channel, like it, uh, like this video and share it.